do YouTube, your boy J-Man Flow, aka Man, so let's get, let's go, bringing y'all, bringing y'all, I thought I uploaded the fastest beat I've been in the game before, but no, 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 before we get into the video, uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to like anyway and subscribe to the channel, you know, help your boy out, but you, if you are subscribed to the channel, if you are subscribed to the channel, my dude, and you ain't like this video yet, are you, gonna be, are you gonna be liking none of my videos? That's fucked up, bro. That's real messed up. I'm gonna just let you know right now. That's real messed up. So any of all y'all my loyal subscribers, please leave a like for your boy. All these other people, it don't matter. But fast to be up in the game. Look at it. Look at it, coach. You're running with the running back block to the same side. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my goodness, bro. I'm so hyped to bring out this blitz. It's not the quarter normal. I uploaded a version of this blitz before, but this one is a lot faster and a lot better. Cause a DB strike, quarter normal, not one three seven. I'm gonna tell you all that again. Quarter normal, not one three seven. A lot of people are like. I think I saw that you uploaded this before. Yeah, you did because uh I uploaded a version of this, but it was a lot more setups. And this was back when I only like had like a hundred subscribers, so I was doing hella setups for no reason because I didn't know what I was doing with this bad shit. You know what I'm saying? But now I'm like, okay, I know how to blitz this work. I know, oh, I could do this in a way faster, a slower setup time. And two, because for people who ain't been subscribed to my channel, uh, pfft, they need this too. But all you want to do, uh, all you want to do is, sh I, you can baseline if you want, but I don't. I just bring the safety down so you match up with this man. Just press, uh, shift your line to the left, edge rush, come grab this guy and bring him over, blitz his set up. And you can pit this guy, uh... And then you can put this guy in a witchman call. That's all you can do if you want to. Right here. And we just don't use this guy. But usually I use it this guy. But once they start blocking a running back, uh, then I can go use it this guy. Y'all going to see, bro, the running back blocking everything, right? This will probably be my setup for the blitz. Uh, yeah, most likely. And I'll probably just use it uh, safety. That's, that, that is just how I do. But y'all just see the fastest freaking. Okay, that time it came out the edge. It normally don't do that. But either way, it's screaming. Like, it's. It's nothing they can. Uh, it's nothing they can do about it, coach. That's what I tell them. It's nothing you can do about it. You know what I'm saying? They be getting mad, bro. I did this. I did that. It's nothing you can do about it. Y'all see right there? Straight up the B gap with a running back block. Now I'm gonna give y'all a disclaimer. You need to don't spam this blitz and don't run this blitz unless you've blabbed it, practiced it, like you got the setup down, like you know about hard. Like like a lot of people, bro. I tried it and uh, he keeps quick hiking me. Yeah, you ain't uh. You ain't set up. You ain't take time to set up the play. Like I can set up that fast. The blitz is set up. Like y'all be like, yo, Jamel, you ain't do this. You ain't do that. Like, bro, you got. I take time. Like I don't just go out there and run a blitz. I I actually have to go out there and and what you call. I you actually have to go out there and lab. And here's the other thing. You don't want him standing like that. You want him standing there. You go. You want him standing just like that. That's exactly how you want your boy. He coming streaming to that B gap. Easy, easy pressure. I, I'm gonna tell y'all when I would mainly lose this blitz. I would main, mainly use this blitz when, uh, preferably if I have good corners. Uh, second, if it's third and long. Uh, third, if my opponent makes a lot of audibles to give me extra time to set this up. Like, if you plan a good opponent, most likely third and 18 or something, he making hella audibles. He ain't just gonna come out there and quick hike you. That's just not, uh, what, he, what he's supposed to do. But y'all see, no matter what happens, you getting pressure off the edge. I wouldn't lie to y'all. Uh, like, I just, I wouldn't lie to y'all. But y'all see, like, it speaks for itself. It speaks for itself. No matter what they do, it's cut off the edge or the B gap. I, pre I prefer the B gap. But, I mean, beggars can't be choosers, you know? As long as I'm getting heat, I'm cool. But I will most likely prefer the B gap. You know, like, how can you make the B gap one more consistent? You know what I'm saying? I think moving them out there further there, it makes it more consistent. Like, right there, bang, bang, bang. It's nothing they can do about it, coach. It's nothing they can do, bro. Like, are you serious, coach? Coach, um, they can make a read doing that, good for them. But if they can't, not good for them. Uh, another thing, let's say they don't block a running back. Does it still come in? Yes. But I hate when they don't block a running back because it's only edge pressure. But if they do start blocking a running back, you can only send. Or if they don't block a running back, this, this can be used sending three people. So you see, uh, we send three people, we still get one free. It don't matter. Three people don't matter. But I hope you all enjoyed this. Please like, comment, subscribe. But until then, it's your boy, J-Man Flow. A.K.A. Mr. Let's Get It. Let's